everybody. So I want to jump on here really quickly and talk about DJ Envy. Now, yesterday, DJ Envy came out to defend himself. He finally spoke up on the allegations that he's a damn con artist. Now, to be quite honest, DJ Envy, we don't have time for your nonsense. We all got already got one uh, radio kook, and that's Shirley Strawberry's husband, you know, Ernesto. But, child, I got to make room for your ass next. So, for those of you that aren't familiar with what's going on, DJ Envy is a very popular DJ in New York. I believe he's on a syndicated radio show. He talks to millions of people. Very popular show. His co-host is Charlemagne the God. Uh, I don't know why, what happened with Angela Yee, but maybe she got tired of them too and just quit, but she's no longer with them, and so they're looking for a third co-host. So one would think that DJ Envy has his hands full, but absolutely not. He's got room for more drama. So let me tell you what he's being accused of. DJ Envy is being accused of running a Ponzi scheme with his partner, Cesar Pena. Or maybe it's pronounced Pina. Or maybe we'll just call him the con artist. That's what we'll do. We'll just call him con artist number one. Now, according to legal documents, what they were doing is they were getting people to invest in real estate. So they would have these real estate seminars and they're supposed to be explaining to you how real estate works and how you can invest their money. And then they had a premium plan that if you wanted to come on board, you could invest in some of their projects. So that's one way how they got clients. Another way is DJ Envy knows everybody. He's on the number one rated show, syndicated show in New York City. So he would just call all of his rich buddies and tell them what a good deal this would be for them. Give me money now to invest in these housing projects. And then when I flip it and make more money, I will give you some of the proceeds, at least 30%, if not more. Now, there's a blogger named Tony The Closer who's really been working on this case since day one. He interviewed a lot of the victims. He was not letting them it go. He wanted justice for the victims. And by the way, uh, DJ Envy has sued Tony The Closer for defamation, but we'll get to that on another day. So Tony, the closer was on it until the local news decided to investigate it for themselves. And this is what happened. Tonight, an I-Team exclusive investigation involving a real estate deal and one of the most recognizable voices in radio. Investors in a real estate venture say they were swindled out of millions of dollars. And they argue syndicated radio rapper Rashawn Casey, better known as DJ Envy from the show The Breakfast Club, promoted these deals. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace talked to the alleged victims and has the response to those mounting accusations you're about to hear for the first time. We've helped so many people, not just regular people, but celebrities, Mm -hmm. athletes, executives. That's DJ Envy on his syndicated iHeart radio show, The Breakfast Club. He's often promoted the real estate venture of his pal, Cesar Pena. You might know him on Instagram as Flippin' NJ. But it's more than just a passing endorsement. You could partner with us on some deals. Make some money with us. Envy and Cesar have teamed up for seminars, including one at the Jacob Javits Convention Center, pitching opportunities to flip properties, often in distressed areas of New Jersey. We invested $200,000 and looks like we're never going to get it back. Jose Santiago and his wife Jessica Ortiz say they believed investing in this neighborhood of Patterson would be their ticket to the American dream. That's the reason why I got into real estate, so we can actually start flipping properties, buying properties, so we can have something for our kids in the future. The couple says they connected with entrepreneur Caesar after seeing him on social media with DJ Envy. He's advertising this all over the radio and on television. I've seen shows of him all over the place, so I thought this was legit. The pitch to invest in rundown properties that would be renovated and flipped for more money. The promise to return up to 30 percent. In some cases, Caesar didn't even own the properties. This couple took out $200,000 in equity from their Florida home, promised that 30 percent return within four months. Then they say nothing. I'm paying the interest right now every month, and 
I have nothing. Well, at this point, we just want our money back. Nigel Chamblin says he was conned by Caesar into investing $235,000 in that same Patterson property, along with two others, $300,000 each for homes in Hawthorne and in Maplewood. $835,000 in total on all three houses. There were other people investing in the exact same properties. It was a scam. It was a lie. <laughs> Augie Rios owns a custom auto wrap shop in Lodi, who says he worked on Envy's cars for years and believed his pitch. He did get back a return on an initial investment with Caesar, but maintains a second investment on this Patterson property went south. If it wasn't for DJ Envy, I would have never invested into Caesar. I lost a total of $64,000. After receiving two bounce checks, Rio says he got a visit from Caesar carrying this box of jewelry. He said, uh, take this jewelry until I can pay you back. How much did he say this was worth? 15, 20 grand. Uh-uh, this man running around town like a damn crackhead trying to pe pay people back in jewelry. We didn't ask for no damn jewelry. He didn't give you jewelry. He gave you money. He wants his money back. I mean, is. Caesar resorting to ripping the TVs off the walls, too, and trying to pawn those. This is going bad real quick. Now, there are a lot more victims in that news report that I just didn't have time to play. But you get the gist as to what's going on. Now, all this time, DJ Envy, I think he went on uh, Tony the Closer's show, trying to proclaim his innocence and put all the blame onto his bestie, Caesar. But here's the problem with that, Envy. People are saying, but for you, but for DJ Envy, a.k.a. Rashawn Casey, I would have never invested my money. Another problem you have with this, you promoted this man not once, not twice, so many times, we have lost count. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. Hey. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. 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 What up, what up? It's DJ Envy. Really, Envy? You didn't know what was going on? You promoted this how many times? So many times we lost count, and you're still trying to proclaim innocent? Mm, I don't know. Not sounding good. It's not sounding good at all. But anyway, according to the rumors, when he found out that the newspaper were investigating and actually talking to witnesses, uh, he had to say something about it. Now at 5.30, an iTeam exclusive update. Radio personality DJ Envy responding to our investigation. Um, There's been a lot going on, Charlemagne. Like what? Don't say like what, man. There's been a, a million and one accusations. <gasps> oh, my God, no. <laughs> I'm being serious. So so let me explain some things. I'm, I'm not, my attorneys don't want me to speak, but I think there's things that I need to clear up a little bit. I think you should listen to your attorneys. Why don't light-skinned people like to listen? Like, if your attorney told you don't say nothing, why are you talking? Listen. So Caesar and myself did seminars. Now, the reason I did these seminars is because I wanted to uplift my community. I wanted to teach my community about real estate, things that I didn't know when I was first buying my first home. I wanted to teach our community about investing in generational wealth. So I did these seminars and brought industry professionals to all these seminars, whether it was real estate agents from different markets, contractors, uh, conventional lenders, hard money lenders. I even brought auction.com to actually show people how to purchase houses online. That's what I wanted to do for my people. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But I do understand how people feel if they did give him money because I gave him a lot of money. Jesus. That I didn't see a dollar of return. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. I would never. I've been on this radio close to 30. I've been on radio close to 30 years and never in my 30 years time that I do nothing but try to uplift people and show people a different way through the business mind. And I would never take a dollar from somebody. I, I, I could be wrong, but I didn't see nobody accusing you of taking money. I just saw them say that they met Caesar because they heard you talking about Caesar. Now, nah, they, they basically said I was privy to it. And that wasn't true. I mean, I, 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 from what I read in actual court papers, I didn't see that. They said that. The, all these people are saying that they met Caesar because of 
you. Right, and they're saying I don't that see nobody accusing you of taking no money. To the point where, if if you read the court documents, Caesar wrote an affidavit that says DJ Envy, Rashawn Casey had no knowledge of me investing people's money. I saw that too. He wasn't there. He wasn't part of those conversations. He wasn't even nowhere in those meetings. And those are, those are documents that's out there. So if we're going to talk about truth, let's talk about the truth. And those are the documents out there. And well, I know you can't talk about the truth yet because your lawyers don't want you talking at all. So the smart thing to do is I understand you want to say something to the listeners, and, I, and, and I'm sure the listeners appreciate it. But, man, just wait until all the dust settles. And when all the dust settles, then we can get on this radio and have a real conversation. Until then, I just, I don't, you know, I don't think you should be saying any of this, but, you know, that's just me. Look at you. You can't even help yourself. What else do you want to say now? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. Uh, but when the dust settles, okay. you, you can have a real conversation with, with the but audience. But it's difficult because the stuff that you're hearing is like, that's totally not true. Like, it's not true. Like, well, that should be, that's, that's fake news. Like, those are fake enough. stories. That should be enough. You know what the truth is. If you know what the truth is, don't worry about it because the truth don't need no defense. It just need the truth don't need no defense, just witnesses. That's All right. it. All right. All right. Well, hopefully. and by the way, you look very suspicious because you don't have your just for men in right now. So it's like the grades are coming in right here in the back, and, it, and you need a little haircut, so it just makes you look like oh. I just want to say this on closing. Oh, I've he's never, lying. I've never stole anything from anybody, and I'll just leave it at that. Now, envy. I really agree with Charlemagne. You probably should not have spoken. Don't say anything. You have to follow your attorney's advice. Um, but as if this can't get any worse, it does. Now, there's reports saying that as of now, there have only been civil lawsuits filed against him, which means no jail time. Civil lawsuits means money. But uh, the rumors are that they're going to bring the IRS into this. Now, that means playtime is over because we all know the IRS does not play. According to the rumors, both for Envy and Caesar, the IRS is going to find out if any big ticket items was brought with the alleged victim's money. And if it was, and you didn't pay taxes on that, just that alone would be tax evasion. Not only that, according to the rumor, there are going to be more criminal charges brought up against the two. And then, as if things weren't bad enough, let me throw in one more thing. The victims are saying that they're going to bring a lawsuit against iHeartRadio because it was on their airwaves that he promoted this Ponzi scheme. Now, with all joking aside, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. If you are innocent, Envy, I feel really bad for you. Uh, If you're not innocent, you need to go where people like you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.